Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're back at Disneyland, and I think in today's video we're just gonna walk around the park and see if we can find anything new like usual. Man, it's a really beautiful day today. I know you guys have seen the pumpkin like hundreds of times by now, but doesn't that just put a smile on your face? <laughs> but anyways, we just got inside the Emporium, and there's two new pairs of ears. Let me go ahead and show you guys. So apparently these ears were at D23, but I didn't attend, so I haven't seen these yet, but they have these. Euro Disney 1992. These are... It doesn't say how much they are, but if I had to take a guess, I'd say they're $29.99, but looks like they're from Disneyland Paris. I'm not the biggest fan of them. I feel like they're a little flimsy. I think the build quality could be a little bit better, but the next ears I'm going to show you guys are definitely worth the money in my opinion. So here's the other pair of ears I was talking about. These are awesome, like they say Disneyland on there. And the quality on these, they're, it's nice, honestly. These are $29.99, and the ears aren't flimsy, really. And they're really soft, if anything. <laughs> and on the side, it says, Making Magic. I don't think I've ever seen this line before, but it looks like it's a new Star Wars line, and it's like reflective. Oh, and it's by Ashy Eckstein, or Eckstein. This hat is $39.99, and then they also have this bag. The bag's pretty cool. It's not my style, but if it's yours, this one's $49.99. But that was basically everything new that was inside the Emporium. It was just the hat, the bag, and then those two ears. But I think we're going to keep looking around the rest of the park now. So over at the China Closet, they have a new Disneyland Starbucks tumbler. I believe this was released yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. But the colors look pretty cool. It just I feel like it's a little bit too plain because the graphics are only on the front and then on the back. It's got the Starbucks logo. But in case you're interested in this one, this one's $27.99. Well, sadly, not a whole lot going on on Main Street today. It was literally just like those few items I showed you guys. I think now we're gonna head to Tomorrowland and see if there's anything new at the Star Trader. So over at the Star Trader, check it out. They have a new Darth Vader hat. And on the back, it says Darth Vader. <laughs> this hat retails for, looks like $29.99. It's a little flimsy though, I'm not the biggest fan of like the quality of the hat, but it looks cool. And while we're on the topic of Darth Vader, check it out. They have the Darth Vader Funko Pop from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. He's pretty heavy. <laughs> this looks like the only character they haven't gotten in yet as far as the Funko Pops is Colin Roken but there's no price on this but if I had to take a guess I'd say it's $14.99 but that's a pretty cool Funko Pop and just in case you're looking for the other Funko Pops that have already come out like Tala, Reva, and Obi-Wan Kenobi you can still find those here at the Star Trader okay if I had space for it I would definitely pick this up this is a Boba Fett diorama that's awesome this is pretty big it's exclusive to Disney, and in case you are wondering, this one retails for $54.99. But besides that, I have one more thing to show you guys here at the Star Trader, and it's a Obi-Wan Kenobi bus. From far away, it looks kind of cool, because the lights here looks like it lights up, but I don't know, his face looks a little weird. <laughs> Let's see the back of the bus, it's pretty heavy. Uh, this is $130. Wow. It's one six scale cast and resin, non slip base, character authentic sculpt. So I guess it doesn't light up. It didn't say it does or doesn't, but I'm going to take a guess and say it doesn't. But in case you're looking for a bust of Obi Wan, you can find it here at, also at the Star Trader. So even though I didn't film it, I was actually here at Disneyland yesterday and I did a walk through the park. And I went to Adventureland Bazaar in Adventureland and saw that they have some new stuff. So we're going to go there next so I can show it to you guys. So I'm really sorry about the glare, but look, they have some new Indiana Jones merchandise here. So they have the voodoo doll. It's $130. This little voodoo doll of Indy. <laughs> so cool. And then they also have Staff of Raw headpiece. This one's $75. I think I like the voodoo doll a little bit more though, that's pretty cool. And then behind me, this is what's left over of the Vans Walt Disney World merch line. Uh, yesterday they had like the shoes in stock, they had basically everything, but today they have very, like a few items left. I'm gonna show you guys what they do have, even though it's not that much. 
So they have this t-shirt. I believe this is the back though. I'll show you guys the front. Walt Disney World, the vacation kingdom of the world. <laughs> the shirt is $36.99. Then they have this white one. I kind of wish they would do like a, a Disneyland Vans line. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, since $29.99, they have this hoodie. They had a hat with this on the front of it. And I really wanted it. And I should have picked it up yesterday because look, they're sold out. They only have uh, this like trucker hat, which I'm not a fan of at all. But <laughs> in case you are, it's $34.99. Uh, and then the blue hoodie, this hoodie is $69.99. And they have this shirt, Mickey on it. This one's kind of cool. I think this is the back. And then, yep, this is the front. You got Goofy, Minnie, and Donald on the front. This one's $36.99. And they have this hoodie, which I think is okay. Minnie looks a little weird, in my opinion. But still pretty nice. This sweater is $69.99. And then they have a shirt version of it. This is the back, I believe. Here's the front. This shirt is $36.99. And then they also have this ringer tee. Here's the front. And here's the back. This one's $39.99. Man, I'm so bummed out that they ran out of the shoes. I really wanted to show them to you guys. I did take a photo yesterday, so I'll show you guys that, but that's that's the best I got. So here's a picture of me holding the shoe. <laughs> it's a pretty nice shoe. It's just, like I said, they had very limited sizes yesterday, so I figured they would sell out, but I didn't think they were gonna sell out that fast. Man, I've been waiting to ride Haunted Mansion Holiday, but every time I come here, it's super packed. Right now, it's got a 50 minute wait, so I don't think today's gonna be the day I ride it. Also, look at all these strollers. Jeez. <laughs> This is like right across from the Haunted Mansion. So usually every time I come to Disneyland, I usually go to like Pooh Corner and Galaxy's Edge, but I think I'm gonna skip all that today and then just head to World of Disney. Um, I haven't been finding too much in the park today, sadly, so I think we'll probably have some better luck over there. All right guys, but anyways, we just got inside of World of Disney. Let's go ahead and see what's new. So over at the ear wall near the entrance, there's nothing new on the wall itself, but on the little display next to it, they have those Disneyland ears I showed you guys earlier at the Emporium. These are really nice. I love the colors and everything. Now I forgot to mention their imitation leather. And then yesterday I did a live stream here at World of Disney and I showed you guys this pretty cool Haiti shirt. But it looks like they have a new hoodie as well. I don't remember seeing this one yesterday. It says Hothead. Wow, this is soft. It's a nice sweater. Oops, almost dropped it. Uh, nothing on the back. Looks like sizes range from a small to a 2X. And in case you're wondering, this one retails for $54.99. And then they also have some pants that match the hoodie. Sizes range also from a small to a 2XL. And it looks like they retail for... $49.99. And then over here in room five in the mug section, looks like they have a new corpsicle travel mug. I can't really tell, but there's like glitter in the paint. It's really nice. And then it says Castles of Disney. And it's got all the Disney castles on there. This is nice. Wow, that price. <laughs> it's $54.99 for this one. The artwork is nice. The price, not so much. And then they also have that new Starbucks tumbler I showed you guys earlier at the China Closet in Disneyland. You can find it here as well. And like I mentioned earlier, it's $27.99. In case you guys didn't know, it's that time of year again where they're doing Pluto's Pumpkin Pursuit over here in downtown Disney. Here's how the card looks. And on the back, it should have the stickers. And then like once you find the pumpkin, you place a sticker on the corresponding spot. And then here are the prizes you can get. And it's only $9.99. I think we're gonna do this, but not today, but definitely soon. But that's basically it for World of Disney. Not a whole lot going on here today. All right, guys, but anyways, we ended up leaving World of Disney. As you guys saw today, it was not the best day for merchandise. Uh, we, we checked Disneyland. Well, we checked most of Disneyland. We didn't film all of it, but we checked most of it. We checked World of Disney. There wasn't a whole lot going on. 
Uh, I think the highlights as far as merchandise is probably that Corksicle uh, travel mug that we found at World of Disney and then the uh, the Disneyland ears that say Disneyland on it. I think that's like the coolest things that we found today. But anyways, I think I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.